Welcome everyone to this tutorial. My name is Mari Kim and today I will be presenting you this beautiful card, okay? And it's a called it's called a profile card or you can name it however you want. And you can see as we hover over it, we have that beautiful scale effect or hover effect. So with no further ado, let's go in our VS code and code that. So now all I'm going to do is to type in HTML and we'll get HTML5. First thing I have to change the title and this is going to go to, I will change it to profile card. And after doing that, I'll create my main tag. I'll create my main tag and inside of the main tag, I'm going to create a div with a class of profile, profile card this way profile card so after creating that the next step i'm going to do is to create another div with a class of profile image and this is going to contain our image so i'll say profile image and inside there we'll have an image with a source and the attribute here i'm just going to say profile this way when we'll get the picture a little bit later but for now let's continue so after this profile image the second part i'm going to have is the about so basically that is where you're going to write some lines about you and so on and down there you're going to have all your social links so this one i'm going to say about and in this class i'm going to have an h2 and for now it's going to say mark him that's all i want and we'll have a paragraph where you can describe yourself. And for now, I'll just say, this is marking, this is marking. And I'll change that a little bit later. And down, down this paragraph, we are going to have another div. And this div is going to be called links. It will have a class of links. So inside here, I'm going to use emit to go a little bit quicker. And I'll say I would like to create a span and inside that span I'll create an e tag and I'll multiply them by three so that they be repeated three times. And to go a little bit further, I'm going to add a class here and the class is going to be bi and I'll explain why in a minute. So after doing this, I type enter. So now we have all those classes created one by one okay the one the first the first the second and the third class so now what i'm going to do next here after doing that is going back to my browser and first step i'll first get a picture and i'll get this picture so here i'll say markim dev just like this so that I get my picture that is already on, on the internet. After doing that, I'll get this picture here. I refresh and I'll copy the image address. I go back to my I go back to my VS code. I will copy that here on the source. So control V. Then after doing that, I will go back here. And here we go. This is our image right now. And we see the image. We see Merkim and this is Merkim. Okay, that means up until this point, everything is working just the way we want it to work, right? So now, after doing that, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a tag for bootstrap icons. And this is where I had created these, I mean, these three spans so that we get icons here so i go back to my browser and all i'm going to do let me close this i'm going to type in bootstrap bootstrap icons and i click right here so all the i'm going to show you a list of icons all these are icons but we are interested in a link that is at the end of the file and let me get that link real quick it's this one we we'll get this link it's a css so you just all you need is to copy that 
bring it back to your IDE and place it down here control V and before I mean beside that we are going to link our own style.css and we'll link that to that HTML so that all the all the styles we apply to elements they get applied so after doing that before going back to my browser let me quickly fill these so here bi stands for bootstrap icons and the first icon i'm going to get is a github icon if you are a developer you are supposed to have a github and you can put a link on your profile card so the second one is, i'm just going to say twitter i'll put a twitter icon and lastly i'll put a youtube youtube icon and this is youtube just like this so after doing that i will go back to my browser and when i refresh here you see all the you see two icons there that means the github is is not appearing and that is because i have misspelled github it's supposed to be github not github and that was a mistake from my side so now i refresh now you see three of them you see github twitter and this is youtube so now before going to the stylings let me first update this paragraph so to update the paragraph i'll go back here to my vs code and i'm going to put some text right here and the test that text i'm going to put i'll just say i'm mardi kim i'll say i'm i'm mardi kim just okay i'm Markim. and that that Markim is all over the internet that that nickname i use on all my social links or on all social platforms if you're searching for me just a my mark him and you'll get me everywhere so i'll say software engineer software engineer and content creator that i just want to write something about me on my profile card say content creator um maybe i'll say i am passionate about what am i passionate about web development web development just like this web development and cloud computing and cloud computing also what else can i add i would like to add some text i'll say my main my main stack yeah the stack i use in development is mern stack and mern stands for mongodb express react and node okay i'll say mern stack i use the mern stack but i have some i have some notion or knowledge in angular in angular and sql databases okay and sql databases that's all i would like to write about me i don't want to put a very big text so if we go back to our browser to refresh okay now we have all that text put there the next step we're going to do is to style that card now and by styling the card we want it to look exactly the way we saw it at the beginning of this video and to do that i'll first i'll first select all the elements in the styles.css so i'll say all the elements and i select them by that hashtag i'll give them a margin i'll give all the element a margin of zero after doing that it will remove a default browser margin so I'm going to select my main tag and on my main tag, I would like it to have a height of 100 view height and a background. I'll put a linear gradient. 
say linear gradient to right and this will go from rgb and this value right here is going to be 189 next 216 and 216 again 216 it will be kind of blue light blue then the second color is going to be rgb and this is going to be 82 oh second it's going to be 82 next 169 and lastly 200 250 and all i'm going to do next is to say display display flex display flex align items center and justify content also center and we want to do this because we like everything that is inside of that main tag to be placed in the middle of the page right or in the middle or in the middle of the main tag so after doing that if i refresh here you see some changes right everything is placed in the middle and we see this linear gradient background so continuing the stylings i'm going now to attack the profile card and for this profile card i'll first select it using its class or via its class the class of profile card and this is going to have a height of 400 pixels and it will have a width of 360 pixels and next step i'm going to say border radius border radius this is going to be a 10 pixels border radius and what i'm going to do next is to say maybe background and this background should be fd 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 it's kind of whitish background so next step i'm going to say transition transition that will be 400 milliseconds is in out and this transition will help us scale that element when we hover it the way you saw it it kind of zooms in that is why we're adding that transition right there next step i'll say box shadow is going to be a two pixels two pixels two pixels h 70 70 70 like that and the other side is going to be minus two pixels minus two pixels and lastly minus two pixels lastly is two pixels sorry and this is going to be also 70 okay the same color as up and what i'm going to do next is to say display the display should be flex and flex direction should be column flex direction should be column so if i give this a try i go back to my browser when i refresh you kind of see some changes right everything gets placed right here in the middle and in this card with a height of 350 i mean the width of 350 and the height of 400 pixels so now next step I'm going to create that hover effect, that scale effect, right? And to do that, I'll just say profile card, hover. So by saying this, we say when we hover there or we hover over that element, we like to transform that, transform, and it will be scale at 1.01. .01 okay we don't want it to scale too much and again we'll copy these two lines of code from here Control c Control v so that we save a little bit of time and now this color is going to change and it's going to be 0 280 280 and the last value is going to be i don't know this is 0 28 then a i think it ac ac ac9 i think yeah yeah that's it it's ac9 so i do the same on the other side this is now also going to be 
zero zero twenty eight AC nine. And after doing that, I now go back to my browser. Oh, I was I wasn't showing that part. Sorry. So this is what I have done. The hover effect. Just this part here. We scale it and we change this box shadow. Now, when I refresh, I refresh right here. Nothing seems to change, right? But when I hover over that element, you see the way it kind of it kind of zooms in a little bit, then it goes back. Okay, when I hover, it zooms in. I think you can see that change when I hover it zooms in and now after after doing that I'll go back here and continue with some other stylings and the next step I'm going to do is to style that profile image and this profile image I'm going to select it by its class of profile image and I'll give it a height of 20% so it will take 10 to 20 25 percent of the whole height and I'll give it a display a display of flex then align item center align item center justify content center so that everything that is inside there get placed in the middle and what is inside this class of profile image it's our actual image right so now we are styling the surrounding div so that it gets a bit easy to style the image and i'll say position relative and i'm saying position relative because later i would like to put that image at an absolute position and i'll set a border bottom this is going to be a one pixel solid gray solid gray just like this so if I give this a try, you should see something changing, right? So I refresh. Now you see the way it has been styled, right? And now it's still it's still not what we want, but we reached at that point. And now next, I'm going to style the image instead inside of this profile image div. So I'll say profile image and the direct child, which is an image, I would like to give you the following styles. I would like to say height, the height should be a trim. Okay. After giving it a height, I'll say border radius, border radius. It's going to be 50 pixels, 50%, 50 sorry, so that it becomes rounded. So next step, I'm going to say position absolute. And now it's going to be top 35%. So as soon as I give it a try and I refresh, I go back to my browser and I refresh. You should see something changing, right? Now you see it, it's coming closer to what we want. But I'm, I'm not seeing my border of one pixel light gray and that is because let me see this and that is because i had put a space here and we we're not supposed to have any space between the value and the pixel if i give this another try now you see the border coming in place the border bottom of this upper upper div okay so now we are pretty done with the upper div and for now let's style the downer div okay or the down div and to style that we are going back to vs code and i'll select it by its class of about that the class i've added to e and i'll say this about class should have a height of 100 percent that means it will take all the remaining space and i'll give it a border border bottom radius border bottom left radius of 10 pixels and a border bottom right radius of 10 pixels so that it gets a bit rounded on the downer side on the bottom okay and i'll say padding 
this is going to be the padding top this should be 30 percent of the whole height okay and i'll add the text align center so that everything inside that git that div gets i mean gets aligned in the center so i'll give it a padding left and a padding right of 30 pixels padding left padding right of 30 pixels so that the words don't touch all the corners or all the ends so after doing this i'm going to add one last thing as a position relative and i'm saying position relative because i have some links that i have to place at an absolute position okay so after doing this if we give it another try you should see again other changes being applied okay now you see the 30 pixels padding on the left and the right and the 30 percent padding from the top okay then after doing this the next step i would like to style this h2 right for now i don't like the way it's styled so i'm going to say h2 and this h2 should have a font size should have a font size of 18 pixels and it should have a margin bottom so that there is some space between that h2 and the remaining paragraph it will be 20 pixels and i'll say font family sans serif because now it's serif now i'd like it to be sans serif so after doing this again my mistake this is the h2 i have styled i was not showing my visual studio code the h2 i gave it a font size a margin a margin bottom font size margin bottom and font family so if i go back here i refresh after refreshing you see the margin bottom is getting applied right and this is looking now nice or oh, it's coming closer to what we want it to be but the remaining part is to take these links this side and style them a little bit so to do that i'll go back here and i'll select their div and their div is having a class of links so down here i'm going to say links i'm going to say links and this div of links should have a position of absolute and remember it will be absolute to the parent that we had put it position relative so this will be position absolute on this position relative that means depending on the parent if i did put this position relative it will be absolute depending on the whole web page and we don't want that right unless you want that you're supposed to put your parent i mean to give a position of relative to your parent element and if you don't and if you want your element to be positioned at an absolute position depending on the whole web page you can leave that i mean you can you can or cannot put the position relative to your parent element so here i'm going to say right one rem so it will be positioned at one rem from from the right and one rem from the bottom depending on the parent element so here i'm also going to say bottom one rem and after doing this you should see some change right so if i go back to my browser when i refresh you see now one rem from the right and one rem from the bottom and that is related to this parent element not to the whole web page it's to this parent element that is located right here and the last touch i would like to add to this card is to put some space between these icons and to do that i'll just say i go back to i go back to my css and i'm going to say links so inside of that div the direct child that is a span that is a span and remember we have three spans here so inside of this the direct child which is a span there is this one this one and this one now we'd like to give them the same styling so i'm going to say span 
and the styling here i'm going to say padding padding of 10 pixels and that will be the padding to each of the span on each side okay so now let me show you that you see right now they don't have any spacing but now each of them should have a will will have a padding of 10 pixels and that will add some spacing between them as soon as i refresh you see now 10 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel 10 pixel and so on and that's how you add the padding to those elements and get the final build right so if you hover here you see it scales when you not hovering it doesn't scale and everything is how we want it to be right and that's all for this tutorial guys thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribe to this channel and i'll catch you in the next one